Hello and welcome to my science tutorials. In today's video, we are going to be looking at the acid dissociation constant Ka of a weak acid. Before we begin, if you are new to my science tutorials, kindly consider subscribing and pressing that notification button so that you don't miss any of our latest tutorials on biology, chemistry, mathematics and physics. So let's begin. So what is a, what is a weak acid? A weak acid or base only ionizes or dissociates partially in an aqueous solution. So it means a weak acid or a weak base can only ionize partially, not completely, in an aqueous medium. So which means a weak acid in an aqueous medium, if the acid has three or four protons, it can only donate one, two, or few of those protons to form what? An aqueous solution. Now Let's have a look at acetic acid as an example. Now, acetic acid is of the formula CH3COOH. This is an example of a weak acid. Now, if it dissociates in water, which is liquid, we have what? The acetate ion being formed, which is CH3COO minus aqueous. And we have what? H3O plus ions also been formed. Now, the Ka or the acid dissociation constant of any weak acid can be written as what? Ka is equal to. Now, in this case, we are going to have what? The concentration of what? The ions formed in aqueous solution, which is what? The acetate ion CH3, COO minus multiplied by what the hydrogenium ion concentration divided by what CH3 COOH and that of water but we neglect that of water so we have what the Ka to be what CH3 COO minus then CH sorry H3O plus ions divided by what ch3 coo minus so with this formula we can easily calculate the ka of any weak acid so let's go ahead and look at an example example number one a weak acid ha is found to contain 0.049 molar ha the concentration of the hydrogenium ion and then a minus ions is equal to what 8.4 times 10 raised to the power negative 4 molar we are to calculate what the ka and then the pka of this particular acid ha so let's go ahead so we write solution first of all we need to write what the dissociation of the weak acid ha so we have h a which we are saying is liquid plus what water h2o which is also liquid then the reversible sign comes then we have what h3o plus being formed in solution aqueous plus the a minus being formed in solution now once we have this equation we can say our ka is equal to what the product of the hydrogenium ion concentration in solution which is h3o plus and then A minus all divided by the concentration of what HA. So our Ka is equal to the hydrogenium ion is equal to the A minus in solution. So we have what 8.4 times 10 raised to the power minus 4 all squared because they are 2. So we square them divided by HA, which is what 0 0.049 molar. So we have 0 0.049 over here so our ka will be equal to 0 0.0000144 or our ka is equal to 1.44 times 10 raised to the power minus 5. now that we have the ka the second aspect of the question is saying we have to find pka now pka is equal to negative log ka so which means negative log the ka value which we have as 1.44 times 10 raised to the power minus 5 so we have 
times 10 raised to the power minus 5. So negative log 1.44 times 10 raised to the power minus 5 is equal to 4.84. So it means the Ka of this acid HA is 1.44 times 10 raised to the power minus 5. And then the pKa of this acid is what? 4.84. Let's have a look at another example. Example number 2. A solution of acetic acid has the concentration of what? 0.01 molar. 4.2% of it ionized in aqueous solution. We have to calculate the ionization constant or the Ka. So let's go ahead and see how we can solve this problem. So we write solution. Solution. Okay. So first of all, the concentration of the acid, which is the acetic acid, we have been given is this. So we have CH3, COOH, that is the concentration of the acetic acid to be 0.01 molar. Now the question is telling us that 4.2% of it's ionized. So which means this is before the ionization. After the ionization, what? 4.2% of it ionized. Okay. So 4.2% present of what the concentration of the acetic acid is equal to what 4.2 divided by 100 times 0 0.01 and this is equal to what 4.2 times 10 raised to the power minus 4 all right so let's go ahead and write the equation of dissociation of an acetic acid so we have ch3 cooh liquid plus h2o which is also liquid then we have the reversible sign then we have ch3 coo minus which is the what acetate ion plus h3o plus aqueous in solution now initially before the ionization takes place we have what 0 0.01 molar of the acid and then 0 0.00 0 0.00 of this in solution because it has not yet dissociated now during the dissociation process only 4.2 percent of the acid dissociated so which is this so we have minus 4.2 times 10 raised to the power minus 4 which means it is only this amount that dissociated in the solution now we have 4.2 times 10 raised to the power minus 4 and then 4.2 times 10 raised to the power minus 4 as the amount of what the acetate ion and then the hydrozonium ion produce upon the dissociation of this acid that is the 4.2 percent of it so after the dissociation what do we have so we now subtract what has dissociated from this to get what is left of the acetic acid so if we do that we are going to get 9.58 times 10 raised to the power minus 3 then we have here 4.2 times 10 raised to the power minus 4 and then 4.2 times 10 raised to the power minus 4 over here as well so now that we have this we can see what our ka is equal to what we have ch3 coo minus multiplied by what h3o plus all over ch3 cooh then our ka will now be equal to the concentration of the acetic acetate ion sorry and then the hydrogenium ions are 4.2 times 10 raised to the power minus 4 squared divided by the concentration of what the acetic acid that is left in solution is what 9.58 times 10 to the power minus 3 so our ka value in this example is 1.84 times 10 to the power minus 5 so thank you so much for watching and then if you're new to my science tutorials kindly consider subscribing so that you don't miss any of our latest tutorials thank you once again and i'll see you in the next video bye bye